to claim a playoff spot with a win or a draw today. Let's love the game from Red Bull Arena in Harrison, New Jersey. Talk about some of the newer players coming in. Claudia Zornoza, number 26 in the midfield. The Spaniard signing in July. Dana Fuderer, number 22. Next to Zornoza in the midfield today. Some shifting around based on availability. Utah also missing Ana Tejada due to yellow card accumulation. Williams onto it now for Gotham. Astaire goes right back to Williams. The gold medalist for the U.S. lays it across and a goal! Yasmeen Ryan! All the hands are up for offside, but Ryan and Gotham are going to celebrate this one for now. Yeah, I think this one's going to be called back, if I'm being honest. Honest, as much as Lynn Williams makes a really good run, I think she just goes a little bit too soon, a little bit too early, does everything right, picks her head up. Find Jasmine Ryan coming in there from the right-hand side, but I think I have a feeling this one was just a little bit, Lynn Williams goes a little bit too soon here. Potentially, they'll have to look centrally as well. It's very close. Lynn does a fantastic job of putting this into that danger area. You can see three or four players of Gotham FC lining up. And Yasmin Ryan coming in from that right-hand side, a real versatile player that can play anywhere along the front, has played everywhere, even when Carlos Samuel said, everywhere apart from in goal, she will do a job to a really high standard. Really good start, Emily Sonic, but also having players like Neely Martin, Sheehan, Yasmin Ryan, those types of players that barely leave the field of play. And I think that's why Gotham FC have been so successful. Because a lot of people focus on national team players, which I completely understand. But there's also a lot of really good role players within this league. And Paige Monaghan touched upon it with us as well with the Utah Royals. And there are a lot of those national team players on this Gotham team as well. So it is easy to let your focus slide there. Here is Sheehan, who you just mentioned. Roller on the ground, covered by Hot. Which is allowing this Gotham FC team to come straight back at them. Davidson, nice Wonger, a ton of space for Stevens, takes her shot. That'll be a boost for the final few regular season games. I think a big boost as well, because I think early in the season, Sednor was the only player that everybody was kind of just swarming, because they knew she was the player that everybody was looking to, whether that be scoring a goal or getting an assist. She looked like the only player really having any type of impact on the attack. And now there are more options that you have to contend with. There's a shot, a chance for a follow-up. Monaghan got to it. Berger is down. Fair play to go after the ball, though, because it popped out. And then Lavelle. Carter serves it up. Betford. And a Betford, Wake Forest alone. What a week her college team has had. Taking down the number one and number two teams in the country. Stevens a shot right at hot in goal. The two center backs. Real a shield winner with San Diego last year. Right to Lynn Williams. Not where you want to put it if you're Utah. Williams back on it again. Pops it up herself. And hot has to toss it up and over the crossbar. Williams. Daring the defender Griffiths to go with her one-on-one. -on -one. It took some help defending. Well done by the Royals to do that. But Lynn Williams has backup too in the form of Jess Carter on this near side at the moment. She and Nice Wong are at the moment of switched and Esther open in the box. Williams takes her time, tries to pick out the corner, not quite. Jimmy Kunratz talked about needing to stay compact. He said if we allow Gotham to have space, or if we allow a player to be on the ball, I think he said it was more than 15 seconds, we are going to be in trouble. And they've had a long spell of possession here. Williams was waiting for it, but Esther couldn't direct it her way. Nice Wonger on the overlap. Esther pointing where she wants it. Gets it on her right foot. Lavelle saved, hot, stretched out to keep that ball out of the goal. Well done. She's in a good position. Jenna Nice Wong has doing, done a really good job down that right-hand side. Look at all the Gotham FC players lining up, though. There was Rose Lavelle. Lynn Williams is actually on the left-hand side out of our picture as well. You've got, again, though, Utah Royals just giving it straight back to Gotham. 
Like, it's been a story of this half. Gotham are a good team, but you can't give them the ball. Into stoppage time, four minutes of it now in our first half. Ryan, Stevens. Monaghan having to come deep to collect. Now getting into her favorite territory on the attack, has options, Tucker to her right. Tucker going back across, Bedford the header! Tremendous opportunity and build, and finally Utah finding a little something in transition. Homecoming for her today back in Harrison and in this match at Red Bull Arena against her former team. Right now, Utah trailing Gotham by a goal. The home side striking first. Yasmeen Ryan striking the third minute. The difference so far. Stevens couldn't quite corral the ball the way she was hoping to, but there's going to be another chance coming. Lavelle takes it. Give her another. They are for sure, and you can see it's such a good ball. Such a good ball. I mean, Roosevelt hits that first one, first save from Mandy Harper. Consistently in this match, nice one, her leading ball. Esther, one step over. Was it too many? Williams. Hoping for the nutmeg on the shot. Didn't get it. Now takes it. Hot with the save. It's almost like Gotham is thinking and taking one extra step, making one extra move. Good defending, making things difficult at least, but conceding the corner, Utah. Can Gotham add to their lead? Will we see something a little different? I mean, Nicewanger serves up a beautiful ball from the corner if they choose to use that as an option. It's played to Lavelle, who does have plenty of time and space. Needs to do better. Yeah, that was poor in the end from Rose Lavelle, but I think that corner was much better than the one before that they had on the right-hand side because it at least dragged out the Utah Royals and it was just a poor ball into the box in the end. Yeah, I mean, I think you take your odds if you have Rose Lavelle that open at the edge of the area. Consider that a win, to your point. Lacasse from the corner. Keeps it on the ground for Monaghan. Let her go to work near post. Berger falls on top of it. Yeah. Eric Tattersall looking at his watch. Gotham FC getting the job done. One nothing, a goal in the third minute by Yasmeen Ryan. Enough to get them three points, secure them a playoff spot, and put them back up to third in the standings.